Hello everyone, as you can see we have another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. This time it is Crosshair, and Crosshair is from The Bad Batch. So what we're going to do is a little bit different, I don't know if you saw my Bo-Katan video uh, where I talked about where uh, I lost a whole bunch of work. Uh, but anyways, uh, so I lost the, the beginning of this video, so what we're going to do is just redo the intro together uh, and then uh, pick up where everything was supposed to be. <laughs> so anyway, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and we've already unboxed Crosshair here, but what we're going to do is take a look at the outside of the box here and then we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, Crosshair's articulation, uh, his accessories, some of them are actually really cool, especially that sniper rifle. I think they did an awesome job with um, how he carries the sniper rifle. I'm glad that they carried that on. Um, and then from there, uh, we'll go ahead and take some pictures and wrap things up. All right, so first off, um, the outside of the box. There we go. That's 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 what we've got. <laughs> He's already unboxed, uh, but he is from the Bad Batch, and of course this is Crosshair. Uh, we've got the mural side here, and then on the back here we've got the Bad Batch, technically known as Clone Force ninety nine, is the re of, uh, result of Kimonian Kiminian. I I always mispronounce this. I did that in the original video as well. Uh, experiments to create a specialist unit of clone commandos. Crosshair is the team sniper whose sharp vision gives him superior accuracy and as a result an air of superiority. And he is number two in the Bad Batch line. Uh, so from there uh, it just takes us back to here. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at Crosshair. All right, so as we do on the channel, we're going to go ahead and go from the bottom and do our best not to knock over Hunter while we do this. Uh, I probably should have moved him. We'll probably do that. <laughs> oh, he's on there pretty good. Um, all right, so we'll come back to that. Anyways, uh, so we've got the figure here. Go ahead and put the box in the background there so we can always remember what we've got going on. And I think it's just a good backdrop. Try again. I think it heard the drop part uh, <laughs> of what we're doing here. Um, so let's go ahead and get the accessories out first. Blaster. Whew, sniper rifle. Helmet. Backpack. And crosshair. All right. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up, and we will be right back. All right. So now that we've got our uh, crosshair here out of the box, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. Uh, first and easiest thing, we've got the blaster. It's, I mean, it's so plain. <laughs> I mean, they could have done so much more with this to get, get it that much better, and of course they didn't. Um, but this is probably, especially with crosshair here, it's going to be in the holster most of the time. Um, and then we have the sniper rifle. Um, it is super plain for what it could be. I mean, the, the, the detail on it, I think, is okay. But I think they, they should have done some gunmetal or something to really make, make it pop. Because uh, it definitely is just missing something. Uh, the detail here is good. Detail in here is kind of eh. It's just to be honest with you. Um, then we've got the helmet. I mean, the helmet's good. The helmet, I think they, they knocked this one out of the park. Um, you know, they, they, uh, they left the viewfinder, obviously, which is good. So that does articulate up and down. I'm happy with that. Um, and then the backpack. Yeah. It's, it's there. <laughs> um, so a couple of cool things that I'm noticing right off the bat. Um, we do have the little peg hole there. And I think I saw, yeah, there's a peg there. Uh, so you can, you know, do that, which is good. And then also, I believe we can do something like that as well. So that way it fits right in there. So just a couple of different ways. I wish that there'd be some way to hold the the helmet. 
Um, something that was nice about Hunter, and I don't know if it was on purpose or what, so of course it comes off. Um, <laughs> the, the helmet actually will fit right here. I think it's perfect. Um, so that way, you know, because he has no way to hold his weapons. There's no holsters, no nothing. Um, it just fits. So that is something I definitely like. Uh, so far about Hunter versus him, um, but, uh, or Crosshair, I shouldn't say him, Crosshair, sorry about that. I'm sure somebody would make a comment about that. Uh, but anyways, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at Crosshair here. As you can see, actually really good detail on the face. The detail on Hunter's face was actually really good as well. Um, the bandolier here is nice. It's not completely attached, so you're able to get some good motion here um, in the abdominal regions. Uh, I also like the fact that the shoulders are not attached, so therefore you're able to get good motion all the way at the top. Uh, as far as motion on the head, looking pretty good, as you would expect. So all the way that side, that side, up, really good up and down. So really good on that. Uh, movement on, uh, I should say, uh, on the elbow, you're going to get about 90. Uh, the only movement on the arm is at the elbow, not at the upper shoulder. And this is a left-right. And this one is an up-down, as you would expect, as they usually are. Uh, we've got movement like we would in a normal trooper uh, in the legs. So not going to go into too much detail on that. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take some pictures. And I'll be right back talking about some of the things that I learned while taking those pictures. Because that's usually what ends up happening. I'll be right back. So I think that was a good look at the figure. Um, I think they did a really good job with them. Uh, I like what they did with them much better than I, th I think what they did with Hunter. They gave him a lot more options and possibilities, especially since you know we are able to holster the sniper rifle in two different ways, uh, and uh, we do have an actual hip holster for the uh, the, the small blaster. The, the only thing I would say is that as this comes around, blah, 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 uh, we'll notice that over on this arm, we've got this little hole here. I'm not sure what that is. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I can't figure out what it's for. Uh, if you know what it's for, let me know. It almost looks like, but I don't want to say this, that they actually just took the same forearm from Hunter and basically what they used for his blade here and they just didn't include that i mean that's what it looks like i really hope that's not what it is but it does look like hasbro cheaped out there so anyways um i think that that's that wraps it up it was a good look at the figure he saw some of the things that i liked didn't like about the figure I uh, got to see his articulation. If you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might be interested in. Uh, as you can see, we do Star Wars and Star Wars the Black Series figures on uh, the channel, but we also do other things like going to theme parks, uh, going to other places around Florida and the area, as well as home automation, electronics, and that sort of thing as well. So if any of that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, 
Have a great day. Mm-hmm.